Howdy. Hi. Howdy. Oh, where's my cup? Welcome to 15.2. Today, we are going to progress with the idea, emphasis on music theory as presented in various music theory textbooks. Cool. That'll be fun. And uh, we already had a, a discussion on the concept of tonality, but uh, now we're going to do some things relating to what is called music theory and work from textbook orientations. Now, I believe in a previous lecture, a presentation, I said that you should emphasize continuing to learn your instrument, mm. uh, learn to read music, and learn to feel comfortable with the keyboard. Yeah. And, um, but I think let's, I have a whole batch of books here that are music theory books. There's one called The Joy of Harmony, The Play of Harmony that I don't have here, which will be fun to explore because it's written for maybe a junior high level kind of person. And um, there's another one that we used at University of Mary, mm -hmm. which has these kind of music theory things in it. So memorize, ooh, how pretty this book is, actually. This one is more like a music appreciation class, which mm. I enjoyed, and this is a music appreciation, which will have less of that theory stuff. Okay. So what I want to do is simply take this theory book came from Bethany College in Lindsberg, Kansas, where I went to college, and I never took music theory. Didn't have to, because I was an English major, but then I think there were some books for sale for uh, used yeah. books or maybe mm. even free, and I took it. Okay. Which was, and I've never used it, but I think it's about time that I did. It's time that I learned something. So, <clears throat> what I want to do is let's go with our chapters. Mm -hmm. Notice in their chapter one, they talk about the elements of music, and they give you this list. Melody, rhythm, harmony. And those are important terms that when we talk about what's a melody, what is rhythm, and what is harmony. Now, one of the difference between discussing, learn, for you, learning music as opposed to learning poetry is that you, by your own admission, know very little about poetry. Yeah. Because you didn't study it or don't experience right, sure. it regularly. However, your whole you your mind and heart and soul it, knowledge is just filled with music you know what music is you listen to it you drove out to the farm and you were listening to music so it's not like some unknown thing so sure. the question is what why what is it that you actually want to learn yeah. so i'm assuming that we're going to look at some of these basic elements of music cool and uh, use this sort of textbook model rather than starting with the history of music and then sneaking it in on occasion, we'll go use a textbook model. So, melody, rhythm, and harmony. And you probably already know what those mean, even though you might not be quite sure about harmony. Yes. Okay, now, they start with the staff, the notes uh, on, a, on a piece of paper. And they even go way down here to is that a, a B down there? My goodness gracious. So, let's... How, about, how well do you understand the staff? I understand it, I think. You do. But let's go through it. Okay, let's take the staff here. Is a, it's a graph system to tell us how to play these notes, these pieces. Or they could be done on another one. And we have the treble clef, which is usually things above here, and the bass clef, things below here. Now, for some strange reason in this tonality system, well-tempered system that you're so familiar with now, C is kind of the middle. It seems like it should be an A, you know, but it C is king for whatever reason. There's this middle C. And the way we mark middle C is imagine a line between these left hand and right hand, and right in the middle of it is floating the middle 
see. That line's there because it's an imaginary line across. Right. Right. Cool. So, <clears throat> and there we have that this gap. So here would be, of course, right above it would be D, right? Okay. And above that would be E on the line. E, F, and I'm going to have you write these in. G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then we run out of space. So we have to imagine another line or in another line and the notes get plopped on that every one of those lines is wonderful. but you don't ever see that in reality do you we sure do where's some damn music oh they got those toppers see they, they they've gone beyond the g I see. the top floating I didn't ever know that the top one floating here is g hmm. but what do, but we gotta play up to here man so they gotta go more way down here man that's the reason for the line is to tell us that if this is G, right, then I the guess. next one is A. A, and it would float on there, and the next one would be C. So that's different than these lines. Than these? Right. Well, it just keep on going. But just, what is this? What's this bottom line? There. There is a D. D. Because this one. And then is what is this? This was a. This it's right above the G, so it's the A. Okay, so those are different line. They're just letter adding letter combos than the bottom. Oh ones. yes, yes, it'll get very mixed up. And now down here, we if we're gonna go below. Like this, the lowest one here is. This F, right here. But if we want to mark this E, how do we do that? Well, we have to add an extra line, and it's floating there. Mm. Do you see that? Yes. Oh, so you learned something about how the staff work, and what do you run out of? When you run out of five, these five little pe pe puny lines, yeah. you've got to go further. That's, that's cool. Well, that's how it had to be done. So why don't uh, I think it's to, that you should write these just to own a sense of... Uh, this is a C. C. This is C, and this is D. So this is so, E. Yeah. F. F. G. G. Very good. A. B. C. D. E. And then F. And then. A. Floating on the top is a G. Oh, right. In when between. Put, is... Why don't you put the G up top on it? Floating on top. Right. So now let's. Now we got the problem of going to the left hand. This is C. So the first one down is a B. So let that. Put your B on top of this line, on top of it. And that's a B. A. And then A. G. G. I want you to look down here to F, E, D, C, B on, yes, A, on the line is a G, or that's fine, and then an, underneath it is an F, like we did over here, and then right. this one has to have its new line for the E. Why don't you put the E next to there? This is E? Yes, right. And we had to add these lines just like there. Right. Problem, problem. That's good. Right. Eventually, I'll, have, I'll make some more graphs or these charts. We could put them on the computer and that'd be kind this of pretty. This works. Yeah, but they're pretty good. Okay. So there's the... Our, our staff. Cool. And we could look at that more carefully. And why don't we do an exercise here of torture? Um, well, let's see.
Well, here, let's look at these now. We'll do it treble clef. Tell us what that note is. Just look at that. That's a C. That's our middle C. It's the same as Oh, that. right there. Okay. Yeah, just take it easy. It's not C. What? C. Um, well, it goes just C, yeah. D. Let's do it slowly. E, F, G, A, B, C. <laughs> And now notice they already put the little lines in there, so that's right above the G. A. And then above that little line, B, and then another one. C. So when I, I see that the C up here is actually has two lines because it's already gone that high. Right. That's really bad. Now let's go backward with here is right below middle C in the left hand is B, uh, B. B. Go slowly. A. Go slowly. G. F. E. D. C. And we keep B, going. A. B. F. E. D. C. B. See, we've had to add those lines to be able to fit the E. Right, now I get it. Right. E. D. C. B. There's our system. Cool. Now we'll always come back. We'll come back to that to get be more comfortable with the staff, but also finding it on the keyboard. That would be two goals relating to knowing the keyboard, feeling comfortable with it, and the reading the music itself. Now it is interesting that in its very next chapter, they go with my favorite thing, the scale. See C major scale, mm -hmm. and the way and they have here. We start with C, then what? D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And there, are, as we can see, seven. They, I was teaching you tonality, which tells us there was only twelve notes in the whole damn world in this system, but in the major and minor scales, we only use seven of them before we repeat the first one again. And the way, it, and according to my system, and they're, they're trying to show you this, is that whenever you go up to scale, you can start at any point, and you're going to start with the basic tone, yeah. and then you're gonna go a whole step, a whole step, a half step, and they depict that as in this radical way. And then a whole step, a whole step, a whole step and a half step and that I don't know if they explain it very well but there you can see they're saying let's do the scales right after we learn yeah. those things there so let us look over here you can do it down no, here. Mm -hmm. we're going to play a C major scale okay then this no they're no. all white C major scale and it has a certain sound. Now it looks like, and then we, then I taught the idea that it that goes up by whole steps and then half steps. A whole step has two halves to it. Half step, half step makes a whole step. So from here to here is a whole step, right? Yeah. Here to here is a whole step. Yeah. But how many steps is it from here to here? Half. It's only, it, it, it deceives us. It's a half. And then from here to here? Whole. From here to here? So do you skip this? No, we want to go. It sounds so natural, and yet this is only a whole half step. And this is a half step. Oh, okay. Remember, that's the odd thing, and they're yeah. trying to do, Those give are you the a head. So right, one, two, three, you half, but it's just because we are learning.
learning what they think is important, the scale. Oh, well that's all for lesson time with Arthur Rubenstein. All right. So what I propose is that uh, we'll play with these uh, textbooks and, f oh, there's the circle of fifths, and work with them and... Uh, cool. Let's keep going. And, and, this, uh, and they'll, they'll just jump around too a little bit, so, okay. <laughs> 